Right, let's grip it this concrete floor. No. Welcome back to the Home Improvements channel. You okay. So in today's short shot to the point video, we're going to show you how to grip up the concrete floors in the property. These are called dual purpose pins in this gripper that we've got here. So they are designed for concrete, but 9.5 times out of 10, they ain't going into the concrete slab. Especially this on the new build. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be gluing them down, and there's a little process to that. So you can't just glue down the whole sticks. We can, you might get away with it, but it's not the way to do it. So we're going to talk you through the steps to glue down your gripper on the concrete floor. First step before you even think about gripper is we want to get a little bit of primer down on the floor. We've got some floor primer. We've already mixed it 50-50. You ain't got to be neat, just all you want is enough. This is like plenty too much, but it's the width of the roller, so that will do you. And you do that around the whole perimeter of the room. Careful not to flick it under the edges. Don't flick it everywhere. And this applies to door bars as well or thresholds. While I'm doing this job on the hottest day of the year, get yourself to practice playing that repeal with the girl. <laughs> Just to keep yourself cool. We use six inch strips, you can do whatever you fancy, there's no set rule realistically. So, I'll measure from the skirt and I'll mark six inches on the floor, and then we'll take our gripper. Take whatever slips you're using, we've got these crappy things because our tools were stolen a little while back. But, use whatever you like, and you just take your mark. All of those! As you can see, they're so good, the gripper's still connected. And that is what you're going to do for about six to seven hours. Or get yourself a chop saw if you're confident with it and then slide it through and use your chop saw and chop enough for your room. And at that stage or before, you want to get all of these pins out. We don't need these where we're going. And that is what you're looking for. A whole collection of these and that's what we're going to be gluing around the edge. Right, well, see you in a minute. Just remember, if you like our videos, subscribe, hit the notification, hit the bell, all the little buttons. Right, so now you've cut your little six inch, uh, six inch strips and took the pins out, we will set out, this is only a rough, and we'll go around the whole perimeter of the room and set it back and just lay them all out. And then what that's going to do is make your life much easier when you come to glue because you can just go like this. Just remember the basic stuff about the arrow that we've done in our other videos. That needs to face the wall. So if you do that now, face it, you won't get it wrong. Yeah, so just put them all the right way. Don't go flopping them down like that because when you're rushing them in, you're going to end up with wonky ones. Should end up something a little bit like this, depending on your roof. Magical. So let's start doing things. Before you start gluing, obviously you need your adhesive. This is one we use, uh, A17 Superset. This stuff here, it can be water activated. That's why we like it. It's very fast setting. Yeah. So if you wet the floor to so it's damp. Before applying this, this will set in something like five minutes, so it cures in five. Right, so how I do it, everybody's different, like I say, so you can walk around with a bucket and put one down at a time, but I sort of know how long I've got with this. So what I do, I tend to make myself a bead, 
that's the sort of fade you're looking for. And then we're going to do as much as we feel comfortable gluing out and get the gripper onto it before it sets. Because like I say, this is quite... because now everything's on hand and what you're going to do you're going to set your gripper space push down so the adhesive spreads you're not trying to get it everywhere what's the actual reason we cut these down while you're gluing them phil because concrete floors are never really flat so and grippers normally got curves in it so if you try and glue a long piece down obviously there's nothing mechanically fixing it in place so if it's got a curve in it it's just going to curve into the middle of the room and set Little strips like this, you're not going to struggle so much. And if you try and stick it in one piece, it pings up the other side if one yeah, side's not level. Yeah, it just lifts and many, many problems. <laughs> Piece, Phil. Yep, so the last piece that we've run in. You'll have to cut that one down, no, obviously not. Obviously, the six inch strips will need adjusted. They're not going to fit perfectly. And notice that when I've done this run here, that I haven't done the door frame yet. Reason being, because this glue is time sensitive and it's going to be setting off, I'm not going to sit here messing about cutting frames in. I'm going to come back after and do the frames and the intricate parts. All we want to do is get the nice big runs in at the minute and all the basic cuts are those little simple cuts there. Alright, so let's crack on. Little intricate bits like that, obviously we said we'll come back to. So all I'll do, I'll just bring them out, get my adhesive and do them as I go. Because obviously they take a bit longer, you don't want to waste time messing around with stuff like that. And another thing to know, the door bar, same thing again, run your daisy through, slightly on the Antigo, because that's where it lands. And they will set the bar in as well with that. And just watch out when you do things like this, for the glue squidging out the backs. Same with the, oh, like that. Get rid of that quickly. Yeah, so things like the back of the gripper, you don't want adhesive squirting all in the back of that gripper because that's where the carpet's got to sit. Right, so that's it. You've got all your gripper down and you need to leave it to set for as long as your adhesive says. Ours is five minutes of warm up, about 15 minutes of that, but we'll probably leave a bit longer than that. That's it, that's a wrap. Remember, if you like the videos, subscribe, follow us, hit the notification bell. There's loads of things there, just to do it more. And remember, one more thing, don't be a dickhead, make sure you wear knee pants. See you later.